We can graphically interact with the model, select and use shortcuts to hide items or using right click. And all of the shortcuts are listed for the user. Or we can enter the hide show tool directly from the view controls at the bottom. And this gives us the opportunity to just graphically select the bodies that we want to hide. Uh, do things like reverse selection, isolate, hide all, show all, and so on. Moving along the ribbon, we also have the ability to control the mesh and geometry visualization. So I've got uh, both in this model. So I can quickly change the geometry style to things like wireframe, transparent, solid, or completely disable it. And I can do the same with the mesh. So I can change to no lines, lines, shaded, wireframe, and so on and even completely disable the mesh display. So it makes it really easy to isolate geometry, isolate mesh, all in a single um, control at the bottom. We can also control how the model is colored. So at the moment we're coloring based on um, Hyperworks choice, which is component fill uh, coloring, but we can change that. So we can disable automatic and actually ask it to color in a certain way. So let's ask it to color by material and we get a material coloring list by property. We get property coloring, and then we can color by thickness. Where it makes logical sense, the coloring mode can also have a legend on the right, and this can be interacted with by the user. So I'll toggle my geometry off just to leave us with mesh, and then I'll also change the legend to be ranged so i can see from 0.1 through to 5 the thickness on the model and we can control the coloring style we can use it to isolate certain element thicknesses or we can interact with the legend directly typing in the element thickness we need and it will isolate all of the other components what we've added to the view controls is also a section view. So if I toggle back to automatic, we can also add in and interact with a section cut directly on the model. So I have some saved, such as a vehicle Y cut and a vertical cut as well. But I can easily add my own new ones, change the cutting direction and drag this through the model. So it lets me take section cuts directly on the model, it will section geometry and mesh, and we can also control whether it's cropping the, the element edges or showing us the, the full elements that it's interacting with.